This is the Whiskey and Weapons Lafroig 10-year-old review. Ah, oh, we're in for a treat once again, but when you're having a malt, we're not you're in for a treat. This is it. This is it. Let's have a look. I'll do the honours. Would you like to tell the guys a little bit about this? Well, Lafroig 10-year-old, you get a lot for your money. £30. Fantastic, uh, fantastic bottle for £30. Bottled at 40% ABV. Yep. For all those that you're wondering, pretty standard. Um, sometimes at 43 percent actually yeah that's usually um in europe we kind of stuck with the 40 percent mark you find that in other countries sometimes in the states you'll find it's a uh, more popular bottled at 43 percent and it's just to meet the uh, demand um i don't know how true that is it's just what i've been reading up well let's be honest i've never been fortunate enough to see the 43 percent yeah 40 percent does go down a little smoother doesn't it perhaps why i like this whiskey so much yeah a nice Hair colour there, haven't we? Quite mellow. You can tell it's quite young. Mm. Hasn't taken on too much characteristic of the uh, the barrel there, but it is quite a young whiskey, ten year old. Yeah, but I mean for ten year old, still a good colour, isn't it? Really. Oh, it's spot on, yeah. You say like straw here. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Yeah, I expect to just like see that on the nose, you know. Mm. See that on the nose. That's a good one, isn't it? See through that nose. Yeah. <laughs> mm. <laughs> well, what's the first thing you get there? Classic with any Laphroaig. It's that peat smoke. Oh, it's a big smack in the face with a block of peat. That that's what it is. That's yeah. what it is. You've got that medicinal TCP note there. But that's what you pay for, isn't it? it that's is. what you want. You're not buying this to uh, have a smooth smell, smooth taste, and whiskey. Oh, well, that's it. it. It is a smooth whiskey, but it's uh, it's not really, you know. Mm. On that on that nose, you you do get a lot of that peat smoke, but the like almost a, a damp cloth. Do you know what I mean? What, like a leather chamois? Yeah. <laughs> Is that what you meant? Yeah, like a chamois. It's all right. We'll just cut that and yeah. put it in. Would you, would you like to re-sear that one? It's... You almost get like a, a damp chamois. You do, yeah. Kind of almost a, a leather rag type smell. Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. If I was a window cleaner, his van smells like that half the time. Mm. Not a bad smell, really. No, it's it's not. It, you're getting a bit of a pepperiness there, right on the, the back end. Almost a spice, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's quite good, isn't it? Quite nice. Really, quite a nice smell and whiskey. There's Look, a lot there. Look, quite complex. It is, yeah. Considering it's only ten year old, it's uh, it, it's one of the ones that you could sit down with for a while, you know. I mean, it doesn't have the complexity of uh, like a twenty year old or whatever, a twenty two year old, but it's got a bit of a licorice note there. Are you getting a little bit of seaside in there, Brian? Yeah, it's yeah, like a shellfish kind of uh, kind of smell, isn't it? Hmm. One might say as though a crab's claws been stuck up your nostril. Has that ever happened to you by any chance? Close, close, very close. What were you doing? Poor <laughs> thing, I just jumped out and grabbed. <laughs> pinchy. <laughs> oh, not wee pinchy. No. Oh, that reminds uh... us of the lobster in days. <laughs> oh, do you? Right, come on, back to the whiskey. Let's keep on top. So yeah, we've mentioned we get the bit of a medicinal note, like the iodine. Mm. You've got that uh, TCP kick there. See what we taste, and shall we? Initially, a lot of sweetness there. There is, but it's sharply followed up by that big peaty taste that you'd expect from any Laphroaig. Really nice. I like this whiskey. It's got like a, a burnt hair kind of taste to it, doesn't it? Yeah, it's almost as if you'd set fire to a hair bale on the field. Speaking of setting fire, do you get a bit of a sulfury note, almost like a matchstick, when you taste this? Yeah. Not so much on the nose, but more, more on the taste, you know? True enough, true enough. But... When you really think about it, there are hints of vanilla, oak chip. Yeah, you get that sort of layer by layer, don't you? It's sweet, then it's salty, and then, you know, you get the oakiness coming through, the woodiness. That's, it's really good for what you what you pay for. I, I mean, what's this it... going for at the minute? I believe it's 28 but generally around £30. I mean, 28 you're looking at blends that are getting up towards that price. This is mm -hmm. it's a really good whiskey. I mean, I would recommend anybody give it a go. Not only that, but as we know with Lefroy, you do get your square foot of land, don't you? Yeah, but the, I've already claimed that back. I think you'll find that I own half of Eiley these days. Shame. That's not in there. <laughs> However, I think 
Here's one I made earlier, guys. Oh, is this next one through here? That one's gone too. <laughs> okay. The wife's slowly amassing my property here. I'm worried. <laughs> Wait there. I'll try this one. Try this one. This one is brand new and fresh. Check this out. So with every piece of uh, piece of land up there that you have. You're welcome to go and collect a dram once a year. I don't expect you can go up and say, I've got 20 pieces, give me 20 drams. That but would be nice, wouldn't it, let's be honest. I think we should try them on that one, shouldn't yeah, we? Yeah, I think so. Okay, so that's next week's anyway. For now, I'm going to just have a little try. I know people say it's sacrilege. It is only 40%, but tiny drop of water in there. Look at that glass. Beautiful. Oh, that's the wife's anniversary present to me, that. I'll show you all that. Check that out. Nice glass. It's really good, isn't it? Sterling silver. Silver. Yeah. Very nice. She bought that as a whiskey glass, but it's a little bit too big. Get that uh, pulled off and melted down. Hey, Bob. <laughs> See, straight away there, the water, it's knocked back the peat smoke and it brings out its more floral notes. You get like a heather smell. It's a little bit citrusy. You still get that treacly, licorice kind of note, but. Do you mind if I compare? I'll give it a go. Instantly a lot lighter. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Well, that's what you'd expect, isn't it? It's it sounds stupid, guys. It's only 40% whiskey. Give it a try. Put a tiny drop of water in. If if not, it's only one dram that you is this ruined, you know what I mean? I'm getting a little bit of toffee with that now. Now yeah. that that peat smoke's not as harsh. It brings out the honey and vanilla notes, doesn't it? Nearly cut my finger off. Gotcha. Nearly. Next time. <laughs> yeah, it brings out the honey and vanilla notes. But uh, I like the, uh, as you mentioned, the uh, almost spicy, herby nature of the smell there. Yeah, it's pretty good, isn't it? Nice. Well, I definitely recommend this to everybody out there. It is um, it is a big one to start with if you're not into peated whiskies. But if you can give it a try, if you know somebody who's got it, ask them for a dram, see where you go. I think that's us for today, isn't it? I think we'll sign out on that. Yeah, this is Whiskey and Weapons. It's been another fantastic review, guys. Leave us a comment if you've had this, what you think. Subscribe, thumbs up, and we'll catch you next time. See you later.